Her Majesty has come to talk cricket, the greatest sport in the world. Cricket, you say? I thought that was just a pastime for gentlemen. And why knickerbockers? What's so grand about it? Oh, that's a thrill, Your Majesty. The runs, the wicket, the glorious sixes. It's like a royal battle on the field. Battle, you say? In my day, we had actual battles. Have you ever faced a Duke of Wellington on the cricket pinch? I doubt it. Well, Your Majesty, I would love to see you try, but I think you will be better off as a cheerleader. With a quiet or mascot. Cheerleader, ha! I could have my subjects wave their handkerchiefs in unison. Go, Virat, go! Sounds rather amusing, doesn't it? But let's be honest. But let's be honest, Majesty. If you were in my team, we can never run out of tea breaks. Tea breaks? How scandalous! In my time, a lady would never interrupt a game for tea. But I suppose if you're losing, it's a good excuse. Losing me? Never. But I'm but I must admit a cup of tea will be lovely when I'm smashing the boundaries. Boundaries in my day we had boundaries of propriety. I have to teach you a thing or two about etiquette on the field. Etiquette, Majesty? I can't even keep my shirt tucked in and I'm batting. But I promise to bow like a gentleman after every six. A bow? My dear Veda, the only bow you'll be doing is to your own team after I outscore. Challenge accepted. But I want you to have a secret weapon, a last little sprint that will leave you with the dust. A sprint? I like to see you try to outrun my royal decree. Well played, Majesty. But I will take the truth pins over the throne any day. Just promise to let me keep my bat. Only if you promise me not to use it to knock over my tea set. D. But if I win, you have to wear my cricket jersey at the next royal event. A jersey, my dear boy. I don't think the world is ready for such a sight. But for cricket's sake, I just might consider.